This is going to be my plant tour of my crazy house. This is my basil plant. i got onions in the back. Thyme. Um, roses. Pioneer roses. I'll do a video on those later. They're pretty special. Uh, roses are super easy to propagate, and that's what I'm doing right here. Um, this is a perennial. I'm not really sure what kind of plant it is, but uh, all my plants have crystal friends to help them stay energized and keep the root systems nice and happy. Right here I got this from work. This is lemongrass in Galanga. That's what I'm growing right here. Uh, hopefully they take. They're from China, so they probably won't. <laughs> this is my really cool little vine with holes in the leaves. I don't know what those are. This is another one I got that my boyfriend got me. He's not doing too well. She might need to be replanted. It's my creeping Charlie in the back my friend got me. This is my little philodendron. This is my big one. His name is Edgar. He's huge. He's like 12 feet long. There's my lucky bamboo. Some oil I'm diffusing. Over here, we have a little bush friend. But he got too cold, he might not make it this year. This is my asparagus fern that goes in and out of being alive and being dead. Oh look, there's an Edgar baby doing really super well. He's doing super good in my house. Um, Le Coffee Plant. And traveling over here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Oh! get some light in here really quick. And boop. Well I guess the light's not that good but I have a headlamp on. There is a ficus tree. Some kind of weird squishy I don't know what it's supposed to be. I forgot. Sort of like spinach but not Succulent, another coffee plant, really pretty little viney thing, some ornamental baby bamboo with another house plant underneath it, and then over here I have Martha. I've had Martha for about six years. She's a really pretty spider plant. We didn't get no babies from Martha this year, but I'm pretty sure we'll get some in the spring. And Luis is over here. She's a nice lady. She is getting huge. I have an arm that just sprouted this summer, and it just keeps going and going. It's getting bigger every week. My watering cycle on my plants... Uh, my house is really dry because it's super old, so I try to water them every three to eight days. Some of them don't need it, but some of them do. I have a lot of plants by a salt lamp that just, I don't know if it's the salt dehydrating them, but they're growing really fast and um, they're requiring much, much more water than they usually have. Plant porn. I love house plants. They make your house feel really nice and inviting and warm. You see with my kitchen, it's just not the same without them. It just looks so happy and healthy in here. And it's good for you, especially out here in Portland, Oregon, where we get a lot of gloom. It's nice to have some green in the house, especially when everything dies in the winter time. I like to talk to my plants hang out with them. Um, I don't really like using my herbs because I feel bad killing them, taking parts off of them, but they do better when you do trim them up and stuff. And they do really good in the house. This we just got from the store. 
We put in some water and it started rooting really well. It's been like three days and it's just like grown maybe six inches. So back to these roses. These are really special roses. Um, I clipped a couple from the Lone Fir Cemetery that's by my house. I go there all the time. I only took two little clippings. I don't know if you can get in trouble from that or not. But uh, it's one of my favorite places in the world to go. But I found out that these are some of the oldest roses on the west coast, if not the state of Oregon. They were some of the first ones that were ever brought here to Portland. And it's called the Rose City. And, um, yeah, they take really good care of the roses there. They have, like, a team of people that fertilize them and keep them really healthy and trim them. And, um, honestly, I wasn't out and about trying to steal them or anything like that. If someone does see this and I get in trouble for it, I'm really sorry, but I just wanted a part of history in my house. And I don't think you can get in trouble for taking little chunks of plants. I don't know. Maybe someone wants to let me know if you can or not, but honestly, it's just like a viney, thorny thing that poops roses out a couple times a year. So that's my plant tour. And I hope you guys like them as much as I do. I think they're really cool. I love my little herb garden in my kitchen. It really keeps me on my toes and busy. I want to get some cilantro, maybe some parsley, a little tiny rosemary plant. See what happens. Bye bye.